agriculture industry is one of the major contributors to the world's GDP as the sector feeds billions of people every day. Agriculture is the backbone of every economy. It provides food, materials, and revenue for communities across the globe. But for you to be successful and build a sustainable and productive agribusiness proper planning and management are required. In this video, we will share the list of 8 brilliant agribusiness ideas that's lucrative you can start. Number 1 is Integrated Poultry and Fish Farm. A poultry farm for meat or eggs can be integrated with fish culture to reduce costs on fertilizers and feeds and maximize benefit. Chickens can be raised over or adjacent to the ponds, and the poultry excreta can be recycled to fertilize the fish ponds. Raising chickens over the pond has certain advantages. It maximizes the use of space, saves labor in transporting manure to the ponds, and the poultry house is more hygienic. The water from the pond can also be utilized as fertilizer for the cultivation of vegetables. In that way, waste generated from the integrated farm is completely utilized. It should be noted that there is a tendency for the water in the fish pond to become deep green due to plankton blooms. Oxygen in the water may get depleted, and fish may die, so ensure you drain the pond and replace it with fresh water often to avoid this challenge. Number 2 is Vertical Farming. Vertical farming involves growing plants indoors, which is why it's sometimes also known as indoor farming or urban farming. Instead of sunlight and rain, vertical farms use lead lighting and controlled growing and nutrition systems. Plants are stacked vertically in layers, so many of the farms look like warehouses filled with large shelving units. Vertical farming is considered a highly efficient and sustainable way of producing food. Instead of growing fruit and vegetables on big farms and then transporting them over long distances in trucks and planes, vertical farming can supply local produce from neighborhood buildings. This means less fuel is used and the food is fresher. Vertical farms also tend to produce more than conventional farms, and products from vertical farms last longer than those from conventional farms. Number 3 is Agricultural Storage Business. Agricultural storage business is a process whereby commodities are purchased at a relatively low price either directly from farmers or wholesalers, store, and sold when they are no longer in the market or when their price shoots up drastically. Agricultural storage business is a very lucrative way of making money. All you have to do is understand when to buy the agricultural products cheap and when to sell them. Ensure you buy quality products, have a good storage technique, and do good market research for the product. There are many farm products that can be stored. These include melon, soybeans, beans, maize, palm oil, etc. Number 4 is Greenhouse Vegetable Farm. Greenhouse vegetable farming is the process of cultivating vegetables in a greenhouse ecosystem. Cultivation in greenhouses is a practice that has allowed farmers to increase their performance while improving the quality of their products by isolating them in micro-ecosystems that have the ideal conditions for plants to grow healthy, strong, and beautiful, thereby increasing productivity. Greenhouse vegetable cultivation offers one of the most optimistic approaches to ensuring sustainable food and nutrition security in the tropics. Examples of vegetables you can cultivate in a greenhouse system are tomatoes, peppers, bell peppers, cucumbers, etc. Number 5 is bee farming. Bee farming, also known as apiculture, is the practice of raising and keeping bees for the production of honey, beeswax, pollen, royal jelly, and other bee-related products. There is an increasing demand for honey in Nigeria and the world at large because of its health and nutritional benefits. Other products of a bee farm, like beeswax, royal jelly, and bee venom, are also of commercial value and can provide additional income to farmers. Number 6 is Agrofood Exportation. Agrofood exportation involves selling agricultural products in foreign markets. It is a very lucrative and rewarding agribusiness. Based on data from the National Bureau of Statistics, it shows that cocoa beans, sesame seeds, cashew, and seven others topped the list of agricultural commodities Nigeria exported in 2022, generating 427.6 billion naira in revenue in nine months. This shows how valuable these commodities are on the foreign market. Number 7 is Agritech Business. 
AgriTech Business is another lucrative business that uses technology and innovations to address the challenges faced by smallholder farmers and improve their livelihoods through better access to inputs, credit, farm machinery, assets, and markets. Examples of AgriTech companies in Nigeria are AFEX, AgroMall, BeatDrone, Cropwell Cash, etc. You can do research on these companies concerning the services they offer and get some insights from them. Number 8 is Agro Processing Business. Agro processing is the business of transforming agricultural raw materials from their original form into consumable product. The agro processing business is very lucrative because it involves value addition. Examples of agro processing businesses include rice processing, palm oil processing, soybean oil processing, etc. I believe this information must have been useful to you. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel to continue to get more agribusiness information.